As you saw from my first intro video on YouTube, I'm an actress, not a reality TV star. But we're gonna try something new today um, for this workout. I'm not trying to be a YouTube superstar. I just wanna provide content that women can actually use um, that is about real women like them. So I'm gonna do more of a live stream type concept with my new workout video. So I'll post sort of me going to it um, as you can see, I'm about to walk. I walk about um, a mile to get to the workout as my part of my warm up, and then we'll go do that agility workout. Like I mentioned um, at the the new article that just came out on the Doctor Ways In, um, is all about reconditioning as a former athlete uh, and trying to get back in shape. So. I'm going to go do that, and you should check out the article on The Doctor Ways In, written by Dr. Rebecca Breslow, and um, watch my videos as we follow me trying to get back in shape so I can play co-ed adult soccer. All right, Sean, we're going to do something new today. What are we doing today? <laughs> <laughs> um, we're doing more of a, on Friday, we're going to hopefully live stream our workout. Okay. Um, and so our videos will start to be live stream, so okay. people can come in and watch them. You got it. And then he's just learning about this now. So today yes. is a mix of what I understand as a mix of vlog and live stream. Okay. So we're recording what we're actually uh, doing, and then I'm going to have to put it into a video later tonight all right. and post it. But from now on, it's all just going to be live. All right, here we so, go. What we're going to do is we're going to build on what we've been working on as far as elongating our sprints or our conditioning into. Um, different distances and different things and so we're going to combine those all in one today so we're going to do a series of five sprints four sprints three sprints two sprints then one sprint all the way up and down the hill each time so is that your whip right so, there uh that is not mine no <laughs> i am trying to commandeer that for a undisclosed member here at the club uh that we'll talk about later <laughs> On me okay Sean forgot to film himself telling us what this is about aka I forgot to film him while he was giving the instructions so this is a partner chase uh, sometimes when you're working out it's nice to have a little like built-in friendly competition to push yourself so I have to catch her and we're both trying to get to that cone way in the distance over there that last cone and Sean's gonna say go and he says go I have to try to close the gap or catch her Go! You can punish yourself by watching them. You know? And I'll be out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We're going to come down to the ground here. We're going to come to a push-up position. We've got our cones. We can use any kind of object there. We're going to go abs tight, flat back there, good rigid position. We're going to go cone touches. So we're going to come up and touch. And we want it just about there to where we've got to force out to reach a little bit, not too far. We also don't want it too easy there. We want to bring our backside down a little bit, please. Thank you. So there we go. We want to try and minimize the movement throughout our whole body and go with just the shoulders. We're going to go 10 touches each arm here, and then we're going to go 10 push-ups. Again, if push-ups are difficult for you, uh, you can go to a modified push-up if you'd like, um, as long as you're getting your 10 in. Ow! Remember, this is, this is like me just doing it. It's, I am not an athlete trained like this. Oh my God, my elbow hurts. Let's go to modified push-ups then. 
There we go. So one of the biggest things we learn there is what we've got to do is listen to our body, right? We're not getting paid as a pro athlete. We're not getting paid as anything else. We're doing this for ourselves. And so we have to be smart, listen to our bodies. Signing off. <laughs> really hard. 10 push-ups, yeah. 20 cut cone touches. Man, doing things for the first time, your elbow, you know, like, it's got a massage the little baby. Still filming me? Oh yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Any words for the people before we start our last set? No, thank you for watching. So you notice she gets a lot of shoulder stabilization in there, a lot of core work, shoulder strength. Froggy hops. All right, so here we are. So again, today's kind of endurance, kind of testing, kind of getting a barometer of where we're at day. We've got frog hops. So we're gonna feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna jump out and land to a comfortable distance. We're gonna land soft. Notice you don't hear her feet stomping on the ground. She's landing nice and soft. She's got her abs and low back tight. She's in a good squat position, just like we did before. And we are going all the way up the hill frog hopping all the way maybe an easter bunny hop and since we're just coming out of the easter holiday and passover for those of you who are celebrate passover if i keep you on the right side of my video it looks like the hill is not even moving you're not even moving it looks like you're just going right up the hill it's a nice optical illusion for the fans at home but those of you at home know that she is gaining ground on that cone way out in the distance there. She is working at it. She doesn't know yet, but we're only doing two of these, but we're going to tell her three. So we also work on mental conditioning and mental preparation as well here, making sure that we're mentally tough to go through our workouts and uh, keeping a positive outlook uh, throughout our workout, throughout the rest of our day. So as she finishes, I'll let her know she has three, but you guys at home know we really only have two. The further you jump, the less jumps you gotta do. Good, we have three of those. Yeah. Thank you, Sean. Oh. Signing out. See you tomorrow. <laughs>